My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, having served as your bishop for nearly a decade, I strongly believe in the need for our diocese to prepare for the demands of this century of Catholic evangelization. People from all over the country and the world are choosing to make South Carolina their home. Over 200,000 registered Catholics now fill our 114 parishes and missions. Through our $60 million bicentennial campaign, we will strengthen our parishes and missions across our 46 counties to serve our people, to enhance statewide programs and ministries, and to help those who suffer by acting as the hands and feet of the body of Christ. For every dollar raised, 50% will stay at the parish for the parish's important and critical needs. Once a parish's campaign target has been achieved, 75% of all additional funds raised will remain at the parish. And once 125% of your parish campaign target is achieved, every dollar raised thereafter will remain with the parish. It is important also to note that all funds raised through this campaign will be held in a separate 501c3 organization called the Catholic Community Foundation of South Carolina. Established in 2017, this foundation is overseen by an independent board of laymen and women across South Carolina who ensure all funds are used for their intended purposes. The critical need is not with the diocese, but with the parishes and missions, which is why half of this campaign, $30 million, will be allocated to strengthening the heart of our faith, the local church. I've asked each pastor to determine the most significant needs at his parish or mission in preparation of the bicentennial campaign. Together we will restore, grow, and invigorate our parishes for the coming generations. When I heard about the bicentennial campaign in the Diocese of Charleston, personally I welcomed it because I look at it as the mission of God. Ministries, they are channels of evangelization in any parish. When we invest in the ministries, actually we are investing in the life of the church itself. Because without ministries, we cannot reach out to the needs of different people, to the different needs of different areas of our parish, even our diocese. It has brought a lot of excitement in our parish. People are really looking forward to see the fruits of this mission that we have embarked on our parish together with the diocese. Let's welcome this as the mission of the Lord. So I would say to my brother priests, let's invest for the future of the church. So at another 200 years, people look back and see that there were some people who invested in this church. That's why we have the church today. Our Catholic schools need to remain affordable, accessible, and attainable for all who value the opportunity to be educated in an academic environment that centers on a relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. Our schools collectively are running at about 60% of capacity. The Bicentennial Campaign will establish a matching welcome grants program and increase the existing St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Catholic Education Endowment, allowing for significantly more children to be educated in Catholic schools across our state. Recruitment to the priesthood is a top priority. Within the next 20 years, 74% of our diocesan priests will retire. We are fortunate to have 18 men currently discerning the priesthood, but we must double that number of seminarians to sustain our significant growth. The faith of seminarians uh, renews the priesthood. We uh, look for them to give us new vision, new hope, new life, and they do so. They affirm what we believe, we rejoice in their accomplishment, and we're able to benefit from their gift of their life to the service of the kingdom. In addition, we hope to focus ever more on recruitment to the consecrated life. Religious education guides us through life's transitions and continually renews our relationship with God. 
Nearly $6 million will be invested in a statewide formation ministries endowment to facilitate and encourage spiritual growth and sharing in a continuum of religious education. As the Hispanic population grows in our diocese, it is imperative that we continue to work toward welcoming and integrating our Hispanic brothers and sisters into our community of faith. Across South Carolina, our brothers and sisters are suffering from homelessness and among other acute challenges. We are committed to investing $11 million in social outreach. By establishing an endowment for social ministries and a fund specifically for immediate outreach, we will be able to serve several programs and facilities around the state that act as the body of Christ while sustaining these programs well into the future. When they come in to Clean of Heart or the Clothing Closet, we want them to feel different. We want it to be a different experience. We want them to feel love. We want there to be smiles. We want to joke around with them. I'm sure most of them would echo that. They do feel different, that some of them have said, oh, this is therapy for me, or that I don't feel homeless when I come in here. And that's our goal. Like, we want them to know that they do not walk alone. This is an exciting time for the church in South Carolina. Impelled by the gospel and under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we have a grand opportunity to share the good news across our state. May we, the Catholics of the Diocese of Charleston, do what Prophet Micah instructed, act justly, love tenderly, and walk humbly with our God.